Good afternoon, everyone. As Mr. Brattle had indicated, my name is Paul Beeson. That's B as in boy, double E S O N. I have a short statement that I will provide and then I will uh, take any questions. First and foremost, I want to point out that the information I'm providing is preliminary. There is still an investigation underway. And so uh, there may be some additional information that comes out at a later point in time. On April 19th, just after 4 p.m., Tucson sector agents assigned to the Casa Grande station were tracking a group of suspected narcotic smugglers in a remote area near the village of Cowlick, Arizona, on the Tohono O'odham Reservation. As agents approached, one of the suspected smugglers fled the scene with one agent giving chase. As the agent approached that suspect, he stopped, the suspect stopped, picked up some rocks, and began throwing them at the agent while making verbal threats. The agent fired two shots at the suspect. The suspect again attempted to flee and was apprehended after a brief chase. No one was injured in the incident. The assailant is identified as an 18-year-old Honduran national who has been previously deported from the U.S. Overall, agents arrested three suspects and seized four bundles of marijuana totaling over 240 pounds. This incident is being investigated by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and by CBP's Office of Professional Responsibility. The agent is currently on administrative leave consistent with CBP's use of force policy. This incident highlights the challenges associated with the dangerous environment that agents work in day in and day out. We expect our agents to utilize safe tactics and in doing so, they retain the right to protect themselves consistent with our use of force policy. Our goal today is to be as transparent and proactive as possible in getting, out, in getting this information out to you as quickly and accurately as possible. I'll now take your questions. Sir, what size of rocks were being thrown at the agent? So as I mentioned, the investigation is still ongoing. Um, we do not have that information at this time. Yes. Can you tell us the name of the agent or the suspect? So the, uh, we're not releasing names at this time. The investigation, as I've mentioned, is still ongoing. Uh, the agent is a 12-year veteran. And as I've mentioned, the suspect is a national from Honduras. And what has a suspect been charged with in the specific uh, the suspect charges pending involve currently re-entry after uh, deportation and then uh, narcotics uh, smuggling and then depending on the outcome of the investigation there could be additional charges involved. Was the suspect or any of the others uh, armed with any weapons? The only weapons that uh, we're aware of that were utilized at the time were the projectiles thrown at the agent. Four bundles, 247 pounds is the weight that we currently have. Can you give us an idea of what agents have been taught and what kind of goes through their mind uh, before discharging their weapons and what warrants them discharging weapons? So agents are uh, trained in the use of force. There's uh, various levels of force that agents are allowed to employ depending upon the circumstances. And then of course their uh, perception of what, what the threat is at the time. Agents go through extensive training at the Border Patrol Academy. Uh, there is extensive training uh, that takes course throughout their career, uh, a quarterly basis uh, training that goes on regarding the use of force. Yes, sir. And how many agent involved shootings have there been so far this year? Uh, there have been uh, four so far this year. This is here in Tucson in, sector? In Tucson sector, okay. yes. This is since October? Yes, yes ma'am. Sir, this is the first time I recall the Border Patrol holding a press conference for a agent involved shooting where nobody was injured. Is this going to be something that you're doing from now on? So we're, we're going to look at the, the circumstances. As I mentioned earlier, we are, um, our, our goal is to be transparent and proactive with putting out information about our use of force incidents. And so uh, this particular incident, we felt like this was an appropriate course of action. Um, not saying that we're going to do this each and every time. Uh, but in this particular incident, um, I made the decision that that's what we were going to do. Okay. Thank you. 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 Th
but we are certainly going to be putting out information about our use of force incidents, uh, especially when they involve the uh, use of lethal force of, and a firearm, making sure that we're proactive and transparent about that information. I'm not sure if you mentioned it, but how many agents were in the area following the group? Uh, I did not mention it. Uh, there were a number of agents in the area. Um, I, I don't have that total exactly. I would, we'll have to get that for you. But only the one did the chase. Only one involved in the chase of, of that particular subject. The other other agents had the other individuals in custody and were unable to uh, assist. Do they believe that they got all suspects involved or did anybody get away potentially? Uh, still a part of the investigation. Uh, that information will uh, have to be, uh, we'll have to get that out to you after we, uh, after we determine that through the investigation. Yes, sir. Uh, there was an officer or an agent involved shooting in January, I think the 25th, uh, near the New Mexico state line. Yes. Could you update us on what happened with that? So uh, you're referring to the, the, the shooting incident that took place, uh, as you mentioned, January 25th, uh, out in the Arizona, New Mexico uh, state line area. Yeah. Uh, that suspect that was involved, the, the, the individual that was uh, shot in that altercation, is uh, remains in federal custody, pending charges for assault against a federal officer. Thank you everybody and uh, am I turning this over to you now?